I, I can't believe it. You're here. <laughs> Only coin six is there as Portland veterinarian Stacy Addison sees her mother for the first time in six months. She's been trapped in Southeast Asia, and our Amy Fraser was there to greet her at the gate when she arrived at PDX just about an hour ago at 11 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Giannola. I'm Ann State. Our Amy Fraser is live at the airport tonight. Amy, what a night. Oh, I will say for sure. It is the kind of night you never forget. We were there as Stacy Addison saw her mother here at PDX for the first time. She is finally home safe here in Portland. You're on American soil right now for the first time. How are you feeling? <laughs> it's, a real, it's a great feeling. It's a relief to finally be back home, to be uh, out of there after all this time. So I'm just really happy to be home. Yeah. See my mom. <laughs> I'm, gonna say, I'm not going to let go of her. <laughs> We were able to help Stacy Addison's mother get a free special pass to meet her daughter behind security at the gate. And with her blessing, we came along to share their happy reunion tonight. Stacy has her freedom back after a nightmare that started six months ago in East Timor. The Portland veterinarian was traveling the world helping animals when she shared a taxi with a stranger. That stranger was arrested for having meth. But Stacy was arrested too. She was never charged with a crime, but was put in prison there for two months. And authorities took her passport and held it until now. What has this last six months been been like for you? It's been really hard. It's been you know, an emotional roller coaster, having all these setbacks, you know, getting hopes up and then having them crash down, getting hopes up and having yeah. them crash down. So I'm just glad finally for it to be over. What do you want to do most now that you're home in Portland? Uh, I just want to see friends and family. That's really what I want to do. Yeah. I was I said sleep. Right. <laughs> 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 what are you talking about? It's like two in the afternoon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It was a long trip, but Stacy tells me it went well. She plans to spend a few days here in Portland visiting with friends. Then she'll go down to Klamath Falls, where her mother lives, and spend certainly some good quality time there. She tells me tonight that she really wants to get a message out to everyone out there to thank you for all your support. So many people liked her Facebook page as they followed her progress through all the ups and downs of this. And in fact, I think she had something like 16,000 likes on her Facebook page. Many people contacting their lawmakers saying, you know, you have to do something about this. And uh, certainly, U.S. officials paid attention and helped in any way they could. Back to you. And it worked. And it worked. Amy, thank you so much. And it was Amy who contacted a lot of those yeah, officials right. to let them know about Stacy's plight. Amy, hats off to you.